Welcome back to DBL. The summer games kick off this Friday to get ready all this week. We're chatting with former medalists to reminisce about their past glory. First up in our Beyond the Medal series, Summer Sanders, the golden girl of 1992. We caught up with her earlier. Take a look. By the time Summer Sanders competed in the 1992 Summer Games in Barcelona, she'd already established herself as a championship swimmer. But it wasn't until her final race of the Games that she finally struck gold, crushing the 200-meter butterfly and ultimately taking home four medals. Summer joins us today as we gear up for the Summer Games in Tokyo. Summer, you were considered the golden girl of the 1992 Summer Games in Barcelona. Can you take us back to that exact moment you finished the 200 meter fly and you realized you won the gold? Of course, it was elation when I turned around and saw one next to my name. It took me a second. It's a whole 50 meters at the other end of the pool and that's where the scoreboard is. But when I saw the one, because I really, it was such a close race, so I didn't know if I had won or not. When I saw that I finally won my individual gold medal, um, it was a mix of just pure elation, uh, excitement, right? But also an intense amount of relief. Phew, I did it because it was the last day of competition. Exactly. So Summer, you were barely 20 back then when you competed. So we got to ask you, can you dish on some stories from staying in the village with the other young competitors? <laughs> Yeah. Give us the tea, Summer. Yeah. I, have, I have so many stories, but there is very similar to Vegas and many other codes of oh. ethics where what happens in the village stays in the village. Yes. So everything that we did in the village as a 19-year-old was awesome. We'd get a big bunch of beer, you know, case of beer, and we would literally put it through the Magen bag, through security on our way back in and just take it into the village. Now you have to tell us, who are you most excited to see perform in Tokyo this year? I just think Katie Ledecky, yes. for the first time ever, women will be competing at the Olympic level in the 1500 meter freestyle. That's considered our mile. It's not exactly a mile per se, but that's considered our mile. It's the longest race and Katie Ledecky will be, I mean, she has, I think the fastest 11 times in history, including the world record. On the men's side, Caleb Dressel. I mean, talk about like, not only a phenom as a as a, a human body, but a phenom in the pool. Hey, Summer, so I think what maybe a lot of our viewers may not know, unless they're competitors themselves or they used to compete, is you have to have your mind right. So let's say Katie Ledecky, other athletes that are going to be competing, they have their eye on the podium, right? They could be in the best shape of their life, but if they're not in the zone, it's going to be really hard to make that top three, right, to get a medal. What do you think is going through their minds and what advice would you give to any competitor to get into the zone? What did you do? Don't think too hard, right? When you try too hard to get in that zone, it's about trusting. You just wanna be in the best you can on a certain day in something that you've trained for or you've practiced for. Trust it. Get up there and find the joy in what you do. It's why you started to do it in the first place. So Summer, not only are you a decorated medalist, but you also have a claim to fame that many athletes can only strive for, and that is your own cereal box. So what's the bigger flex, your own cereal box or having a gold medal? You know, when you're on the, the box of a cereal, it's actually cornflakes. When you're on the <laughs> box of a cereal, it changes your life forever. I do have to say though, the one big moment in my life that uh, a generation remembers is getting slimed. I love yep. the fact that I got to host a show on Nickelodeon where I slimed people and that's what I was known for. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I was telling the guys before we started because they're huge Michael Jordan fans. I said summer was my Michael Jordan. I went to like Stanford swim camps and I would like sneak out of the camp to see if I could find you. <laughs> I never found you, but I found you now. If you're ever in Denver, you have to come visit us. We Bye promise summer. Sam won't follow I'll you home. I promise you'll keep my cool. I promise you to keep my cool. I love it. Bye, oh, Summer. So Thank cute. you so Thanks, much. You guys. We'll be right back.